we have 12 days left in New York City. 12 days, that's it. Until we're going to the new special location and a clue, it's not in the USA. We haven't filmed in maybe a week and a half, two weeks. We've launched the Slack integration. We're in the process right now of launching the WhatsApp integration, which will be like mid July, somewhere around then. That's gonna be crazy for all the WhatsApp creators. We've also, in the last four days, built our own internal type form. Literally our own type form for sub creators in the ecosystem. So you can now have application forms, approve people to join your sub community, super sick. So that's great. I wanna get that out by this afternoon. Another cool thing that's happening as well is the Antlers Summit. The people that actually invested that pre-seed capital into me. We've got the summit here in New York City tonight kicking off, apparently super inspiring. There's gonna be like a few hundred founders from all over the US coming together. But first, we need to get some coffee. We need to finish this application form code. We need to push it to production. Let's go. Cheers. See how busy it is. Oh, no, it's still pretty quiet. We might be all right. If someone's sitting in my seat, I'm gonna rage. Okay, we got this. there's like no one. What's up? There's been a few questions I've seen floating around in the Discord, but also on YouTube as well, about how are you prioritizing everything? Do you just like one huge Kanban board or are you just randomly putting features out there? Okay, this is how I'm doing the flow right now. It's not super organized in like a super corporate or like Google type of way, but that's how I like it because right now my priority is number one on just building core features, which is like the main integrations, but then also doing smaller features that people are requesting on a day-to-day -day basis. And I don't just like build a feature when someone asks for it, we first see if there's more people that want that feature and then we start building it. For example, the application form seems to be something that's very much coming up, especially on the like WhatsApp and Slack side. Professional communities, bigger communities, they wanna like gate who's coming into them. And so they wanna be able to receive an application, a custom application, they can review all those applications, they can approve it, and then that person can then pay and join the community. Let me show you how that works as well, because that's been an actual really fun build. So yeah, check this out. Okay, so I'm in a demo project right here, Jacob's Finance Community, lol. <laughs> we'll jump into pricing tiers, edit tier, and you can see we now require an application form in order to join this tier. So what does that mean? Well, let me show you the flow. So we now have this brand new Browse My Forms tab, which is like all your application forms. You can create a new form and you can come in, it's gonna by default give you an email option and also an end thank you screen. You can insert a new block, put those on, but that's okay. We'll go save and we can preview that right now. And look at this, we've literally got a very type form-esque experience. What's your email? Put in an email in, and it's just gonna keep going through all the way until the user completes that application form. On submit, it's going to send it to the back end, it's going to appear in the user's dashboard, and then they can approve that user. And that looks like this. So I'm gonna go head over to the live sub, and you can see now apply to join is now at the bottom of that sub page. And so when someone clicks that, instead of them being taken to a Stripe checkout, it's actually just gonna jump straight into the form. So look at that, apply to join Jacob's Club. All right, what's your email? Jacob at sub.me, next. What is your name? Jacob, and we're gonna go option B, next. And look at that, thank you. Cool, form submitted successfully. You can actually customize all of this, make it your own. But now if we head back to the applications tab, and we'll have a look at the submissions, and you can see we now have a couple of submissions in here. And so I'm gonna click on this one, and you can see the details of it. Jacob, what's your name, Jacob? And they're going to be able to approve and reject. Now, I haven't done the logic yet for approving or rejecting. The way that I want it to work in the future is that users can actually enter a credit card and then it's going to save that card on file in a secure Stripe way where it's just a Stripe card object. And then it'll be able to charge that user if the user approves here on the dashboard. But I'm not doing that right now, just scope wise, it's just too much to fit in, especially when I'm trying to integrate WhatsApp in the next couple of weeks. So for now, the logic is going to be, so the owner's gonna come in, they're going to check the application form, they're going to either approve or reject. If they approve, it's gonna update that record on the database, and then it's gonna send that user an email programmatically with a one-time use link that they can then pay to join the community. We're just gonna use one-time tokens, that means we can track against the user as well when they subscribe, we can track against the application form they originally made, and so that should all be good to go. So yeah, I'm gonna to try to get that into production this evening before 
we go to this Antler pre-drinks event, and then tomorrow is a complete write-off because we're gonna be at the Google NYC brand new headquarters down in Hudson Square. The time has finally come. We built Typeform internally for sub in four days and we're merging it in. However, this might be the largest pull request that I'm merging in to production in a long time. And that's not why we're merging it into production. We're gonna merge into staging first. So let's see if we can make that happen. What's, what is really cool there, which I completely forgot to mention, is not only can people do application forms, which is like a step ahead of obviously any other service, but now if you approve an application form from within your dashboard, that's gonna send the user who originally did the application form an email with a one-time link that they can actually go ahead and purchase the subscription on the original tier they tried to sign up with with the application form. What's really cool is if they use a different email or completely different user at all, it's still gonna track against that user and inside your dashboard as a sub creator, you'll actually be able to see which user was approved and which email they used to sign up and actually pay for the subscription in the end. So that's super cool. Very cool, very handy. It just means that you can like keep tabs on like who you're actually approving and such. But now we need to merge this in and hopefully we don't have any issues. Let's go into staging first, make sure it works. Let's just double check our data. Let's just see. Guys, this is the, the secret to, to merging, is uh, just make sure that you've backed up everything. But first of all, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna double check. We actually have values in our staging environment so that I can actually see if anything's changing from this at all. It shouldn't, it should be absolutely fine. Okay, cool, we've got some values, it all looks good. We are doing a couple of migrations. And that's where you gotta be really careful because obviously if there is a non-none field required in one of the migrations and you like push that, it can just wipe everything. So be careful. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead, just double check that all looks good. That looks good, okay, cool. The main things I really care about here are these migrations. We've actually got a few. We've got this new form table. We've got a new constraint there. Let's just check one more time. You don't wanna mess up, you don't wanna mess this up. One quick thing I did find, um, is just a small spelling mistake, not a spelling mistake, just like unnecessary capitalization in my Prisma schema. Looks annoying in the end. For my OCD brain, if that renders to the front end, so that's, we're gonna fix that quickly. Okay, push that up. The main thing we're doing is just adding like the new form models, the form submission models. We're connecting that relationally with like different users and owners and customers and such. So you just gotta make sure that everything kind of like perfectly works together. It looks good. I think everything's looking pretty sweet. We're putting it into staging, so like, fuck it, who cares? Let's just go. <laughs> you know what, I can't be bothered reading that. Guys, when in doubt, just merge it. Let's do it. Let's just make sure it's not production. Okay, we're going into staging, ready? Here we go. Merge. Merge, okay. All right, let's see what happens. Let's, let's just watch these logs. Make sure everything's sweet. Okay, cool, we're building. Let's view these logs. And now we sit back and we sit and we de-stress and we just pray to God that nothing breaks. No, it'll be fine. Okay, so while the back end's building, let's have a look at our front end. Look at the scroll bar, this is wild. This is four days, four days of code. Are you kidding me? 4,600 lines? I mean, to be completely fair, I did just build the entirety of Typeform inside sub. So yeah, billion dollar company inside sub. Does that mean that sub's now a billion dollar company? This is working well with my, my playlist series name. Anyway, we've, look, look at the cursor, look how small this is. This is, okay, more code does not equal cool. Like writing more code than you need to is not cool. But in this case, it is really cool because we've literally got type form in house. So anyway, let me just uh, review this. Yeah, it looks good. Looks good to me. 
Holy crap, this takes forever. That's a lot of, holy crap, we actually did a lot. Guys, look, look, look at this. Look at, look at all the stuff that was required to build. This is just the front end to build essentially all the form submission stuff. Beautiful, right? Just to whoever did this pull request, we just need to, you know, we need to let them know how it was. Looks good to me. Thank you, Jacob Benny. Appreciate your review. As long as the back end builds, let's get this front end into staging and we'll see if we can do a full run through of all the application forms. Not bad. That's how you build Typeform in four days. Back end, back end is built. So let's just double check our data. How are we looking? Yeah, we are good. Migrations were all perfect. Let's give this a go. We're definitely going into staging. Yes, we are. Merge, merge. All right. Let's see it happen. Let's tell the dev club. Hell yeah. In Manchester. Shout out Danger Clam. <laughs> <laughs> and then hopefully we should be able to full run through it on, on staging. Creating an optimized production build. In the meantime, while that's building, we've actually got this sick newsletter that's going out. I, I met this guy last week and he runs this like, it's like this beehive newsletter for like hundreds or thousands of investors like around the States. And they all subscribe just to like get early access to like new up and coming startups and companies and such. Anyway, he wants to feature sub, which is super sick. He's just the man. And so yeah, there's like this full write up he's just sent me. He's like, yo, this is gonna go out tomorrow. Um, yeah, wild. It's called Bullet Pitch if you want to subscribe to it. Uh, completely free. Yeah, we're going to be on it tomorrow. So that's super sick. Deployment completed. <gasps> okay. Oh, here we go. We've got this brand new forms tab. Okay, application forms. Let's create a new form. Beautiful. I'm going to go apply to join Jacob's community. Um, and then we'll add a new block. Come in here, short answer. What is your name? email cool um, thanks for being in touch soon that's fine we'll add one more block and I'll just say long answer why should you be granted entry to the community um, into your answer okay cool that's a nice enough form we'll save that we don't have any submissions just yet obviously last thing we need to do is just jump back into our demo sub my finance community apparently <laughs> pricing tiers Edit, requires application form. We'll select that form. Boom, we are in. So now we'll preview that. Yo, check this out. Check this out. So you got my sub page now. Apply to join. Boom. <laughs> How sick is that? Okay, cool. Let's do the full flow. I'm going to apply to join. And then as the creator, I'll go and approve it and we'll see how that works. So get started. What's your email? And yes. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Cool. We have done our application, now let's go approve it. So, oh, look at that, a new application form submission. Now, because I'm the sub owner, I received an email saying, hey, there's a new submission. So let's go check it out. If we head back into our dashboard, I'll jump into my dashboard here, we'll go into forms, we'll go to submissions, and would you look at that? Brand new one, and it tells me what my tier is, which is the membership, and it was created today, and approved. No, there is nothing that's been approved just yet. Currently, there aren't any linked customer subscriptions either. But if I'd like added 100 new fields as well, it would show all of them. Let's open it up. Okay, let's review the submission details. What's their email? What's their name? Why should they be granted entry? There we go. Should we approve or reject? Let's approve it. Okay, boom. Submission approved. Beautiful. You can see it has now been approved, which is fantastic. And would you look at that? Your application has been approved to join Jacob's Finance Community. So if we jump into that, click here to finalize your payment details. Let's do that on the computer so we can actually see that. Here we go. Click here to finalize your payment details. We'll click that. Would you look at that? Okay, cool. So let's jump in and I'm going to subscribe now, but I'm gonna use a different email because we want to track and prove that it actually does track against that. So I'm gonna use, um, yeah, we'll use maddie at sub.me. We'll enter the demo credit card because we are on staging. And we'll go MB start trial. Oh, I've got to double check this actually works for free trials. I didn't actually test trials, so we'll find out. Boom, you're in. And now, okay, new subscriber for Jacob's Finance Community. Fantastic. And then we also, oh, Maddie, you're going to need to check your email. I just realized we don't even need to. We can just check the database to see it all attributed correctly. So let's jump in. 
We'll go custom subscription. Would you look at that? Form submission ID. Okay, there's the form submission ID attributed against maddie at sub.me. So if we head back now to our dashboard as the original user, forms, submissions, look at that, linked custom subscriptions. How sick is that full flow? We just did from the get-go, creating an entire custom form. We put it on the front of our sub, so it fully gate kept it. We approved the application form, and then once the user clicked and paid using a completely different email, we tracked that against the form, and we've got all the data right here for the user. Come on, man. That is, that is sick. That's sick. Anyway, that was the craziest four days. Let's get this into production, and I think there's gonna be a lot of people that enjoy using that. Next step is WhatsApp. Let's do it.